Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. In today's video, we're going to check out three videos from Mickey Smith. Mikey Smith? Well, something like that. And why three videos? Well, I found three small, about one minute, one minute and a half long videos, and I thought they would be interesting. And because it's just one minute or one and a half minutes, I thought I'd take more than one. So, and before we get started, a big thank you to all my Patreons. Atticus Finchikas, Bella Charge, Cajun Drifter, Clifford Reynolds, Elizabeth Schneider, Fletcher Euler, Frank Kelly, Globus Schillers, Janie, Jared, Lee W. Mama Murder, Mr. MP, Patrick Miller, Fadarang. Robert Innocencio, Robert Williams, Stringer News 1, Sebastian Sauce. Surf, Ugly German Truth, Bishanti, William Inabnet. Christ Puncher, Conrad Silas. And my newest Patreon, Cheesemondo. Now, for this first video, I must apologize because, you know, flat earthers don't know what a tripod is. So, this camera shakes a lot. But without any further ado, here's our first video. Hey guys, I just wanted to record this. Uh, supposedly, Mars is supposed to be going behind the moon. Once this focuses. Ah, yes. Flat Earth's eternal enemy. Focus. Now you can see two dots. What are you talking about? On the inner edge of the crust. Uh, and there it goes again. Out of focus. The crest. As I mentioned before, these people don't know what a tripod is, so I do apologize for all of this, but you know, it's in the original video. I don't know what this is, but... So I decided I would give you a hand. I think what you mean is this. Now you might ask, what is this? Well, I propose it's the tip of a mountain on the moon. And why is it red? Well, if you remember, at the beginning of this video, your whole moon was red. So the answer must be optics, and most likely, your camera. Because now, it's a different color, isn't it? Same place, different color. You might ask, wait a minute, where does this screenshot come from? Well, let's wait a few seconds and I'll show you. I think that here this is where the screenshot comes from don't believe me here let me put it side to side believe me now let's reverse back the video a few seconds so we can hear what you were about to say I think that might be Mars. it is Mars it's twinkling our survey said first of all I'm going to ignore the whole thing of you being able to see Mars through the moon because now I, I'm sure you're a, a flat earther and, and you believe that the moon is uh, transparent or something like that. Um, I used two videos just to prove how wrong you are because you are wrong. Planets do not twinkle, only stars twinkle. And you want to know why? Well, read this article. It should explain to you. It's very simple. It's got some images, you know, some graphics. Or maybe just say it's fake because it's got some, you know, illustrations to show why stars twinkle and planets don't. But if we go by your theory, the moon is now Mars because, as you can see, it's now reddish. It's got a red tint to it. So... Which one is it? Can you see Mars or is the moon Mars? Now I have a question. If this is Mars, although it's blue now, so what, is it Earth, a parallel Earth? Or, you know, a mirror of Earth? 
doesn't matter. So if this is Mars, what are these? I don't know any, if anybody else is getting this. Um, but yeah, um, Mars is right there in the middle. Uh, it's, it's so freaking cold here this morning. I'm going to try to get a picture of it too here. And yes, this is how he hands his video. I didn't cut it. On to the next one. Hey, you crazy globe headers, globe he globies. I have a funny experiment for you guys to think about here. We have a, for a very simple experiment here. We have a fork and a knife. There are actually two knives. But hey, who's counting, right? And I'm going to show you guys something here, okay? So we have a, a knife and a fork stuck together by magnetism. Now the slightest force or attraction to this knife and fork are stuck together. Can you please explain to me how this fork is not being pulled to the floor of this restaurant? Well, but it is. Why do you think the fork is dangling down like that? Magic? But I thought gravity was a weak force, or maybe it could be a strong force. We're not really sure. Right. Well, you might not know, but we do know that gravity is a weak force and electromagnetism is a stronger force. There, now you know. But I'm looking for the force that is supposed to be pulling this fork down to the floor. What? You want to see it? But that's not how it works. Let's take an example. Do you see the magnetic force there holding those two pieces of cutlery together? You don't. You only see the effects of, of the force. So it's the same with gravity. You can't see the force, but you see the effects of the force. It's only being held by a very slight, small connection area there. And it's magnetism, not gravity. Gravity should be pulling this apart. Can you please explain to me? Sure. Although I don't think I'm the right person to do it, and I know if I'll get anything wrong, I'm going to get crucified in the comment section. I'll be ready. Um, but gravity is a weaker force than the magnetic force. Therefore, you can hold those two pieces of cutlery together through magnetic force. And gravity is still holding it. It's pulling it down, but it's not strong enough to break it apart because the magnetic bond is stronger where this gravity is supposed to be existing in our so-called reality that you're talking about. Okay, folks, thanks for your time. And thank you for the perfect demonstration of gravity there. So what happened was when you shook the knife, you applied a third force to the two existing ones, so gravity and magnetism. And because the force you applied was stronger than magnetism, it broke the bond. And once it broke the bond, gravity took hold and pulled the fork down onto the table. All right, folks, we're going to do a little test here. I got a little something set up in the bathtub here. Uh, we're going to demonstrate on how the stars uh, are set in the firmament uh, with the water. And so, yeah, I have my little experiment set up here. We have the wonderful hole. A hole in a cardboard in a bathroom. What does that remind me of? If there are three glory holes in the bathroom at the club and 28 guys at the circuit party, how many rotations of guys will it take before everybody's had a turn? I don't know. Nine with a remainder of Brent. Oh! Guys, Brent can't fit in the glory hole, and that's why we all like Brent. 
for the, for the light to penetrate. Now see, here's your problem. You have a hole in the cardboard in the bathroom and now you're using words like penetrate. You're gonna get me demonetized, aren't you? Yes, you are. Or the uh, frequency or whatever's going on. Oh, whatever's going on. What do you think it happens in a hole in a cardboard in a bathroom? Seriously, man. And now you add frequency to it? Really? <laughs> really? Ah, oh, it just keeps getting worse, doesn't it? So we'll just make some, uh... I gotta get my shadow out of there. Make some waves. Make it look like the stars. So this is what we're getting with the P900 and the P1000. Yes, this is what they claim they see using a P900 pointing at the stars when we all know the P900 is not set up correctly to focus correctly they're just um, they're using well you know automated focus and that won't do but let me give you an example of what they see now to fix this there's a very easy solution this was taken from flat earth.ws P900-P1000 debunking flat earth misconceptions but do you think they'll ever look at this and say hmm let me give, let me give it a try no they're not gonna do it because it does not fit their narrative and it would completely completely destroy their argument looks exactly like a star in the sky since I guess I'm gonna be demonetized anyway I might as well go all the way so you're telling me that these stars of course are actually holes in something in kind of you know a bathroom or something like that now each one could be obviously different but this is a good example of uh, what I myself and others who have the P900 and the P1000s uh, which are video recording the wonderful display in the sky that we see every night. So if you have any, if you have any uh, counter action uh, towards this. Yes, I do. And this is it. I'll let you have a look. Um, why not give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. Oops. Oh my god! <laughs> if I was not getting demonetized before, I'm definitely getting demonetized now. I guess my cardboard ain't gonna last too long. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my demonstration of the wonderful stars that we got in the sky. Any of these globe heads have any other demonstrations that provide uh, proof of a globe? I'm always amazed at these flips because how do stars prove the shape of the earth either flat or or um or a globe but i can't see it can you i think he's he's just <laughs> i think he's just having a lot of fun playing with water isn't he you can go ahead and do so but uh you you won't have any fun no, definitely not. Um, I'm sure we won't have as much fun as you're having <laughs> destroying your cardboard. <laughs> Although a bit prematurely, I, I should say so. But anyway. Or any time. Or any luck with that one. So there you go. There's the wonderful stars we got in the sky. Hey, folks. Have a wonderful uh, day. And this is all I have for you today. I hope you forgive me. It was um, a bit of a very, very different kind of video today. I hope you don't hate me. And I hope to see you on my next video.